Hello, so um, following on from the previous video I made at the very end of that one I said I would make a video straight after it pretty much smoking one of these little particles mini with a nice Ethiopian coffee I've just made very tasty and I've not had a cigar in since Christmas Eve so what's that five days ago I smelled I last smoked on Christmas Eve not because I wanted to not smoke for five days but because I've been relatively ill I'm still just getting over it now but I feel that I have the strength you know I'm not coughing a bunch I'm coughing a little I'm not coughing a bunch you know I'm not that ill I've, I've been in a relatively high spirits today that I thought a little just a little cigar though I still don't think I'm going to be able to have something much bigger but little part of a cigar little part of a cigar um, little box of 10 now these are cheap little cigars I mean, compared to what you'll get in a gas station, a gas station, what are we, American? Compared to what you'll get in a petrol station or um, a supermarket here in the UK, you will get what? Um, uh, Hamlets, Signatures, Moments, Royal Dutch, maybe. Um, maybe if you're lucky, you'll get Mahari's. Um, but you are very unlikely to find Cuban miniatures. To get Cuban miniatures, you have to either buy them online or go to an actual tobacconist, where I've got mine in Aston's in Manchester. And the, they set you back about £10 a pack, which I think is perfectly fine. I think £10 for a packet of cigars like these uh, is perfectly fine, perfectly adequate. Um, perfectly adequate, you know. Uh, price, uh, you know, you might. Yes, you can get a pack of moments for five pounds ish. I think it's like five twenty five, five thirty or so for a pack of moments blue. Um, or you can get uh, something like Royal Dutch in the tins. I think the boxes are twenty, coming about nine pounds. The tins are ten, coming about. Six pounds, five fifty, six pounds. So yes, these are more expensive than your Dutch cigars, but I think you get your money's worth out of just purchasing these Cuban minis as opposed to, or pretty much any premium mini, as opposed to the cheaper minis out there. Now the minis that you're going to be buying in shops such as your, your supermarkets or whatever are going to be generally lower quality tobacco. It's not going to be aged tobacco at all. I'm not saying these are. But, you know, your more premium minis are more likely to have aged tobacco in them. Um, they're going to be shorter than even one of these. Even one of these minis, and I'll show you one in a minute, uh, are larger. Slightly larger, I think, than a, a standard Dutch mini. Um, a cheap miniature cigar. And also, the cheap miniature cigars are kind of made to have very little flavour. Very mild flavour for the non-cigar smoker. Someone who smokes cigars, they want flavour, they want decent flavour, and they want decent flavour in a short package. Which is what these are for. Something like Moments, Royal Dutch, Hamlets especially, are made for uh, non-cigar smokers, either as gifts or as um, to be inhaled. A lot of the older generation will smoke these tins of tens, these, tin, these bo little cardboard boxes of twenty. The cheap, cheap supermarket cigars, cause they're easy to get, um, and their their fathers probably smoked them, and they have continued. They will inhale, and they will generally have other tobacco products. Now, these parts, mini tens. Um, when you go into a tobacco, it's like Aston's. You will generally see a wide variety of miniature cigars behind the till. They won't be covered up because it's tobacconist, they don't have to cover up. And you will see generally this you will see Partagus in the orange box, Partagus in the black box, which are the Serie E, Serie D. They're kind of a lighter, milder version. Uh, you will see Cahibas, you will see Romeo and Juliettas. Um, I 
think that's it. I think that's it. There might be more, but that's what you'll find generally. Now, these Particus Minis, little flip open box, just standard dealio. You can see I've smoked four of these already. And they come and they are obviously machine rolled. They come in and they have this little sheet of paper hiding the other five. And you can see there's five minis sat there. Now they're like three and a half inches long, something like that. They have a short smoke, a very short smoke. Now, as you can see, these are machine rolled cigars, very small little smokes uh, but they are honestly some of the best value smokes you can get in the UK especially around this time of the year when it's cold out um, when you don't really want to be sat around in the freezing cold smoking for 45 minutes for an hour having a shorter smoke like this is very very useful you can sit inside you know, um, whether you're at a pub and, you know, having your pint, talking with your mates. You can go outside, maybe if they're going on their smoke break, and enjoy a short cigar. Or, if you're, you know, maybe at a family event or whatever, and you need to go outside and smoke. You don't, you know, feel the need to go and spend 30 minutes sat in the freezing cold. Having your cigar, you can spend five six eight minutes having a little cigar now these particular cigars are nice i just smoked for them i think for, for value for money they're a pound a cigar um and the flavor on them is just a lot better now i should stop talking about probably light one up do i have my matches around here if not i'll use my lighter um i can't see them which is a, oh, I had Swan Vestas round here. Oh, there they are, on the floor. They always have Swan Vestas. So, little cigar like this, you could use a little match. I use two just in case. And uh, light it up. Give it a minute for the sulfur to burn. Oh, a second, not a minute. These are quite small. You give them a minute, they'll burn your fingers off. Alright, and. You don't get a lot of flavour, obviously. It's a miniature cigar, but what you are getting is good. You're getting a nice cedar wood. You're getting a nice kind of sweet, bready tone. A nice pepper. A nice light uh, pepper. I, I can't tell you exactly whether it's white or black, but I'd probably say black pepper. A little bit of black pepper, this nice bready, kind of sweet type of bready tone, um, and cedar wood. And with a cigar like this, that's all you're gonna get throughout the whole smoke. But this will last me what five minutes, six minutes. We'll smoke it through, we'll, we'll find out. But like the notes that you get while smoking a cigar like this are 10, 15, 20, 25 times better than what you're going to get smoking a Hamlet, smoking a Signature, smoking a Moment. Now I don't hate those cigars, I've smoked those cigars in the past and when you're in a pinch and you just want to smoke, you want to sit outside, have a pint, have a smoke, pop it into the, the off license and pick it up a pack of whatever they have in really, will do. Personally, I'm quite. Uh, I like Royal Dutch. If I have to go for one, the Royal Dutch Blues and the Royal Dutch Yellows, they're very easy to smoke, and I think they just give you their value. Um, especially if you get the boxes of twenty, they're like nine pounds for twenty. So well, that's what a forty-five p a cigar. Um, both the Blues and the Yellows are good. Uh, 
and like a cigar like this like does it compare favorably to something like uh, a moment of a royal dutch yeah i will say it does obviously dimension returns exist with everything in cigars especially proper sized full sized cigars coronas robustos churchills etc you're going and getting diminishing returns, I'd say, above, in the UK, above about 18, 20 pounds, anything above that, you're kind of getting diminishing returns on. I've had really amazing, beautiful tasting cigars that I've bought at UK prices at around the 13, 14 pound mark, I think it's a sweet spot. About, for about, currently anyway, current prices as of. Uh, December 2021 going into 2022 with the October price rise about 14 pounds 13 to 14 pounds I'd say is a real sweet spot for good tasting cigars great tasting cigars even for, you know, great tasting cigars at around 14 quid um, in the UK overseas you get them fucking well cheap you go to Germany, or even Belgium, Italy, you're getting really, Greece, you're getting really good quality cigars at around £6, £7. Um, in America, you know, they don't have Cubans over there. It's not bad, it's just different. But, you know, you're going to be looking at really, really good New World cigars for five, for five quid, six quid, so, well, about six, seven quid. Again, it's... The UK tobacco market, the UK cigar market, is being squeezed constantly, year on year. Cigars are being lumped in with cigarettes, with chewing tobacco, with with, uh, with roll your own tobacco, with pipe tobacco. As the same thing, you know, it is the, the same industry to them. Because, you know... Cigars are a tobacco product and they get taxed at basically the same rate um, that cigarettes are. Um, and it, it, it's sad, uh, you know, for people who are just trying to enjoy a hobby. Uh, for people who are, you know, not smoking every day. As I said, this is the first book I've had in five days. First month I've had since Christmas Eve. Uh, if I wasn't sick, I would have probably smoked Christmas Day. Maybe Boxing Day, maybe, for celebratory reasons, and then not smoked until probably tomorrow. Um, but like, you know, it is what it is, and all it does, the rise into tobacco tax. All it does is that it drives people in the UK to not buy from UK vendors. They buy from overseas vendors where the prices are cheaper. You know, even if you even if you don't avoid customs, which, you know, you shouldn't. You should pay your tax, you know, wink, wink. But you should pay your tax, even if you do, even if you don't avoid customs, even if you pay all your customs charges, it's still cheaper. You know, still 20-30% cheaper buying from Germany or France or Belgium or Italy or Switzerland uh, and getting them imported in than it is buying from the UK. I went into Aston's to buy to buy the cigars um, just before Christmas, 16th it was, maybe a bit later, I think it was 16th or 17th. Um, I went in to buy cigars, I walked out £169 worth, is how much money I spent, £169 in Aston's of Manchester. Um, I ended up walking out with a pack of them, a pack of Cahiba Minis, which are nice, a pack of Romeo and Julietas, uh, the Puritos, nice cigar, um, there's 25 cigars so far, none of them full sized. I walked out with two, what are they called, Umnum Bonds, which I've had one, I wasn't a big fan, I'll smoke the other one, probably on a video like this, um, but an Umnum Bond, two of them, uh, two uh, H. Upman Half Coronas, two Trinidad Reyes, and uh, a five pack 
of Monte Cristo Media Coronas. Now these are all short cigars I've not bought. A single Robusto, not even a single uh, full Corona. Oh no, the Yum Nums are Coronas, I, I lie. Um, I've not bought like a, a Robusto, I've not bought a Churchill, I've not bought any large cigars. And that's 34, 36, 36 cigars. Um, of those 36, 5, 11 could be said to be proper sized. Eleven could be said to be proper sized. It is a ridiculous amount of money. It is a ridiculous amount of money for what should not be this expensive. Even if you, I'm not even against taxing them a bit. You know, they have VAT put on them anyway. So if you, even if you took VAT off, I'd be happy. VAT is twenty percent, so they would cost eight quid instead of ten pounds. You know, bad bean cigar is eight DP instead of a pound a cigar. You know, a cigar that's fifteen quid suddenly becomes twelve. You know, like. It, VAT adds, adds that on and then they tax it again um, tax on tobacco and then the retailer has to make their money so you know by the time you're actually getting the cigar into the country there's a monopoly on importing Hunters and Franco have a monopoly on importing Cuban cigars anyway but probably also have a monopoly on importing New Worlds so they have a monopoly on importing which raises the prices then you have VAT then you have the tobacco syntax. Then you have retailer costs. They've got to make their money. And you end up with cigars that are double the price they really should be. When you look at America, when you look at you know, Germany and Switzerland, where there isn't these huge inflated prices. You don't see loads of people smoking cigars. You don't see the amount of people smoking cigars skyrocketing. That's a really nice coffee. What you see is you see the same amount of people you would normally see smoking cigars, smoking cigars. They just buy more. And they buy more cigars within that country. And they're not getting them from elsewhere. Which means the taxes that you are putting on them are actually going to you and not to some foreign country, right? You know, you can charge import tax on them all you want, right? On cigars coming in overseas, but you will lose out on the retailers who are selling and making money. They pay tax on the money they earn. So you're losing out the government. That is, is losing out on uh, potential tax, a potential extra tax income from businesses. They're losing out from potential extra tax income from customers because not all of those uh, cigars people are buying online are getting um, hit by customs. You know? Because of course they're not. You know? You know, customs can physically cannot open up every single parcel. So all the parcels coming in, some of them will be cigars, some of them won't be. You know, some of them will be cigars that get caught, and some of them will be cigars and won't get caught. And then you've lost hundreds of pounds of tax income. Now, it's not a huge industry, but it still brings in, I believe, millions of pounds every year into the country. And it could bring in more uh, if you taxed us less. Because I would buy more cigars if there was less tax on the cigars. If cigars were cheaper, I would buy more. I think it's the same for pretty much everyone who smokes cigars. They would buy more and they would spend their money also on other more, you know, cigar related things. If I had more money because I was spending less money, if I had more money in pocket because I was spending, you know, less money on cigars, even if I would buy more, my cigar budget goes down because I've got all the cigars I want, I might then go out and buy a nice humidor.
you know I might pay I might go to a craftsman who might make a wooden humidor get him to make me I'd ask him to make me a nice wooden cabinet style humidor save up some money from the amount I'm saving on cigars every month pay him he makes me a really nice cabinet humidor and I have just paid a local craftsman to make me a handmade product and everyone's happy the tax on tobacco is really I hate it it's ridiculous it doesn't benefit anyone on cigarettes it is understandable to a degree but on cigars it does not benefit a single person it doesn't benefit a single person it doesn't even benefit the government fully I've got out again I've been talking too much in any case, just going to light it with a lighter. In any case, this cigar. has been enjoyable. It's lasted longer than it would normally because I've been talking to the camera. But it's enjoyable. And those notes are nice. The bready notes are good. Anyway, it's been good talking. Have a good one.